Hello, welcome back to Blender Switch Live Learning. In this episode, I want to share with you five different variations of this uh, squiggly lines. Um, so the whole notes is looking something like this. This was inspired by Yayoi Kusama once again. This artist, Japanese artist, must have impact on me at some point. But it's basically like a like a polka dots uh, patterns, right? And you just wanna scatter it on top of surface. So it's pretty simple and you can have many many variations just using this basic patterns. So yeah, I have five different ones. The classic one is this one. Actually, it's just um, geometry nodes. All, all of this is using uh, basic of geometry nodes. So let me actually just delete all of this. Let's see if I can just start something. So uh, you just need to provide a curve. Any type of Bezier curve will work. So you start with that, or you guess you can just draw the curve, and you simply apply the geometry nodes. Okay, so we have this uh, cucumber. What you're gonna get? You have this variation number five. You can switch to this one. This is what you can get from the setup. The glass one the yellow and the classic so probably um, there's a few tweak I need to do but that's basically the idea you start with a curve and you can extend the curve you can draw the curve using uh, this is blender 3.2 alpha so we have like draw curve pen extrude uh, whichever you like you can actually extrude curve now you cannot make branching, but you can extrude curve at the same time. For simplicity, I'm just going to go to the top view and just use the draw. Yeah, I think draw still my favorite. And then you can use radius or tilt. Radius to add some kind of thickness. I think curve is one of the most powerful tools in Blender. However, there's also uh, from curve you can also use geometry nodes, and then uh, you can do sculpting and other procedural stuff. So these objects with geometry nodes, um, even though these objects doesn't have material, there's all these five material or uh, six materials that's coming with the geometry nodes and I'll show you that we can switch between the five setup using this switcher let's start with the basic the most basic one let's zoom in so the switcher itself let me explain explain very quickly it's just a value it's a float value I call it switcher so we have uh, we have five different geometry types that we can that can be the output. So the switcher uh, have this math comparison greater than zero, greater than one, greater than two, greater than three. Finally, the switcher itself. Each one of them have switch. So five different variations can be made from a single curve. It's a basic stuff, but still pretty useful and interesting so the first variation is the, is the most basic it simply take the curve so the curve come in and then we resemble it we resemble the curve and then after we resemble we convert the curve into mesh okay so this is the basic idea convert curve into mesh using this node and we also have this radius that's kind of multiplied on top of the the curve radius itself we can fill the cap okay and then here I distribute points on faces using this Poisson disk 
and then you play around with this distance value so you can scatter the curve uh, scatter like instance objects equally within the space so it's like a polka dots um, yeah and then you scatter in this case I, I have like a kind of like a cylinder I because I extruded a circle I don't need to extrude it it can become just like a simple polka dots so this is the most basic one and hopefully the polka dot is kind of scattered equally across the face the more face you have the better result it's gonna be so this is just using instance and then set the material using this basic white material and red material set shade smooth and join geometry so that's one one result the next one we have okay the yellow color one okay let's take a look I think I believe the yellow color one is really just extruded extrude and scale oh where is it okay this one so this this is more or less like a like a durian like a spiky surface similar setup just curve and in this case I'm using merge distance and dual mesh okay remember this setup I use this quite often so by merging the mesh close together you're gonna get like triangulated surface and then so you can use dual mesh and you get have you, you can have this like a scale like a reptile kind of skin topology that you can use uh, to create a certain look so I do this quite often after you make the pattern you just simply extrude extrude and if you want you can scale so this, this is almost like a reptile and I just set the material the yellow material the next one we have okay this is the green this one is uh, I'm using like a plastic kind of shader but this is very similar to the Voronoi one except that for the last uh, for this setup I'm using volume so instead of using curve to mesh to solidify the curve I'm using points to volume and volume to mesh while the radius is coming and transferred from the original curve radius I transfer it this way using transfer attributes and I can multiply the, the value this is probably a better way to do it using point, point and volume so you're not limited to just curve and uh, sweeping the curve but now you get like a points definitely something uh, that's a little bit more robust so I'm multiplying the radius and so we have points and volume to mesh I'm again I'm using this merge by distance and you're gonna get this Voronoi skin once again this is more like a plastic kind of wrap but it's a it's, it has certain organic quality the next variations is okay this is one of my favorite this is actually like a rubber it's very similar to the one before except that I'm using split so I'm splitting the edges and then scale the elements and so this is if I turn off the extrusion of the mesh it's gonna be just like this like paper thin split all all the end Voronoi got split 
into itself and then so I I just extrude it so it's becoming like a cup like a suction cup like an octopus skin um, and then that's yeah that's the result you can make this fancy by solidifying and then subdividing so it's like uh, like an octopus type of skin yeah definitely my favorite as for the material I randomizing it based on the its separate islands yeah this is one one of my favorites it's very unusual so finally we have the last one yeah this one this is also like a like the classic except except that I'm using a uh, subdivided Voronoi so there are two two surface and I extrude I can extrude the second one yeah so it's it's like a bubble like a bubble on the skin it's kind of interesting but this is also like almost like a classic uh, Yayoi Kusama design almost except that it's one of them it's like a bubbles and because this is based on the Voronoi it's not 100% circle but it's pretty close and yeah I just subdivide and then extrude it so yeah this so there are five different variations here you can play around with it but this is I think this should give you the idea how geometry no geometry nodes work in s somewhat because it's using the curved surface and with the curve you can do like a sweep and you can do like retopology and you can do like points to volume volume to mesh it's pretty robust like this um, as for the surface operator itself extrusion split edges maybe you can do like a random deletions um, but the points volume and volume to mesh is probably one of the one of the most powerful feature of geometry nodes on top of the scattering as well the scattering and the point scatters that's also really powerful but you can make like a maybe hundreds of different variations of surface topology and um, yeah just like simply by playing around with scatter points and just different instancings so it's really just this is just the basic of geometry nodes I just wanna put all of this into a single video just the basic fun fundamental uh, geometry nodes hopefully you find this useful uh, so thanks again for tuning in and I'll see you next time thank you bye